Okay, so a student asked today in class for a video on calculating the enthalpy of vaporization from vapor pressure, and that's what I've got up here. So the way I did it was I went to my filters, I clicked on review. Oh, yeah, actually, if you're doing this, you're probably done, you're probably doesn't say review, but mine, mine was already done. So I had to click on review for my filters. Then I come over here and clicked on these objectives, right? Went to an old objective, uh, and I click on that, and I'm done. Okay, so I'm ready to do this now. I'm going to review it. So uh, in order to do it, I need to um, take a snapshot of it and come over to my whiteboard and um, bring it up. I'll leave the other one open though so that I can check my answer, add image. Come down here, boom, open. Okay, so this looks like it's what's open, but it's really just a snapshot of it, okay? So when you're doing it, there should be another link up here that says uh, video lecture or something like that. It's another little blue icon. So, all right, the vapor pressure of substance X is measured at several temperatures. Um, I just did this in class, uh, so I'm fresh on it, but suppose I wasn't. Where's my marker here? I need my marker. Oh, I my, mark, my uh, whiteboard's not plugged in. Plugging it in now? Okay. So um, let me come here. Tell me that's in. Please tell me that's in. I need my marker. Here you go. Okay, so I come here, go to red. All right, so first thing I do is I look at this and go, all right, the vapor pressure is measured at several temperatures. So I've got P and T, right? Uses, to cal uses information to calculate the enthalpy of vaporization. All right, enthalpy of vaporization. What is that? Well, I look it up, and it is that enthalpy of vaporization right now this uh, is the symbol I'm looking for I go in my memory banks where I look at my notes and I find that I've got an equation that, that um, Alex presents like this P2 the ratio of two pressures two vapor pressures is equal to the negative of the HVAP over R times the difference between T2 minus 1 over T1. Oops, 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 sorry. This was E raised all to that thing. That's, that's the exponent for E. All right, can you see that? That's E raised to all that. So um, this might be smaller, and when Alex, I, I, this is just a snapshot, I can't click on that, but if I can click on that, this would probably be smaller, because it's an exponent, right? And it's all, it's the exponent of E, the, natural, the base of the natural log. This is the equation I need. So let me go to, I'm gonna pretend like I've got that um, in my notes and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna write it out again. So P2 over P1 is equal to E raised to the minus H VAP over R 1 T2, 1 T1. This is a big deal. This has to be, so this equation has got to be in my memory bank. So I've got to have some way of, of remembering it. I made an allusion today, an allusion today in class about one way that I would remember that. But anyway, suppose that you just have this memorized or maybe programmed in your calculator. All right, if that's, tr if that's true, I have P1, P2, I have T1, T2. Let me go to a different color here. I have this. I know what that is. I know what that is, I know what R is, I have T2, I have T1, and I'm looking for that, right? So I have to solve for that. That's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to get rid of this E, and the way to do that is to raise both sides, or rather to take the natural log of both sides. So this becomes P2, P1 is equal to the natural log of all that, which is, since it's the base of the natural log, this just gives me over R, 1, T2, 1, T1. So again, I'm looking for my HV, right? Well, I'm going to multiply both sides by R. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1.
right? This is now you can see this is an algebra exercise, right? Just undoing the operations that I have here. And then this is a multiplication operation, so I've got to divide both sides by that. Okay? I've run out of space here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch things around. I'm gonna bring this guy over here, delta H, because I've run out of space. It is minus R natural log P2 P1 all over 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. Okay? Well, that's my answer. I mean, I don't. I've got to put things in here, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull my calculator out and do it with you. But this is the equation that I need for my answer. All right. So uh, I'm gonna put the numbers in here. I'm gonna look them up. It's 8.314 joules per mole kelvin. Right. That's what that R is. Now the natural log, then it's going to be the natural log of P2 over P1. I'm going to come back over here, disappear this. P2 is, let's say, 183. It's 0.183. See if I can remember those. 0.183 and 0.117. Ah, 0.183 atmospheres, 0.117 atmospheres, right? Atmospheres, atmospheres cross off. Just being careful there, right? Don't really have to write them in because I know they cancel, but just being careful. Now I'm going to make sure this is P2 and that's P2. Let's go make sure again. I'm going to click back on here. I've got both uh, P2. Yep, it's point. I'm going to call this point. Oops. Two. And that point one. Pressure 2 is 0.183. Is that what I had here? I did. 0.183 and 0.117. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit nervous. 0.117. That's right. Okay. 0.117. Now T2, right? 1 over T2. Oops. Let's, let's just go ahead and do the, the temperature 2. What is the temperature 2? Temperature 2 was 46 degrees Celsius. Aha. Wait a second. I got to be careful here now. This is actually, yeah, I need it in kelvins, right? Because my temp, my R and everything else was in kelvin. So this needs to be in kelvin. 273 plus 46, 9, 319 kelvins. This is 319 kelvins. And 37, that's 310, I can tell. Because that's, that's body temperature. I just remember that. I wouldn't expect you guys to know that, but that's body temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. Oh, one, one, one. That's right. That's 310. Okay. So T1 is 310. T2 is 319. Okay. Wait a second here. T2 is 319. Calvin's, right? Oops. Wait. I don't want that. Minus 1 over 310 Kelvins. Okay. Now the rest of this, of course, is just getting into my calculator. Now I'm going to make some notes on the table next to me. Um, you should do the same thing so that I can put this in a calculator. You can't see what I'm doing right now. It's joules per mole Kelvin. Um, but I'm going to put it in a calculator in just a second. It's a little difficult to follow for you to follow on 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 screen because you, you can't see what I'm doing, but 319 minus 1 over 310. About to put this in my Alex calculator, but I want you to be able to see that on screen. Okay, so let's go back over here to Alex and let's go to calculator. And now I'm going to do it's minus 8.314, right? And it's joules per mole Kelvin. So I'm going to say, and it's times the natural log or lin. Right of P2. P2 is 0 0.183, 0 0.183 divided by 0 0.117. And before I hit enter, I'm going to look at my notes again and make sure I've got this. And this is all divided by 1 over 319 reciprocal Kelvins, or really over 319 Kelvins. 1 over 310 kelvins, which is going to give me reciprocal kelvins in the bottom. I think that's right. I wish I could have a bigger screen here on this calculator. Pretty sure that's right. Um, looking at my notes, comparing it to that, wish I had a bigger screen on my calculator. 
And I think that's right. I'm going to hit enter. Go over here. Enter. So it's 40.863. 40. 863 joules, right? 037709. Going back to my whiteboard now. Let's come over here. Let's change colors to make this obvious what's going on. I'm going to write that number down. It was 4,000 or 40,863.03779 joules, right? Because the, these, these Kelvins cross. These are reciprocal Kelvins here. These are reciprocal Kelvins. Let's cross off. Atmospheres cross off and we're left with joules per mole. Okay, now I'm gonna change this because it's joules. We probably should say kilojoules. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna say 40.863.03779 kilojoules per mole, that should be a J. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say how many sig figs do I have? So, oh, I don't even need that because the question stem itself says how many sig figs to do it. Be, round your answer to two sig figs. All right, easy, 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 easy. 40, it's gonna be 41, right? So I don't have to do my sig figs rule. It says round to two sig figs. This then is going to be reported as 41 kilojoules per mole. I'm gonna come over here, cross my fingers it's going to go, let's get rid of that. Let's put our answer here and say it's 41 point. And then it's going to be kilojoules per mole. All right, let's cross our fingers. Give me some green. Give me some green. Boom. Next topic. All right, there we are, green. Now what I didn't do is I didn't, I chose these two numbers here be interesting to choose these two and you'll see you get the same answer. In fact, you can quit the video now or you can keep watching. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose this as temperature one and that is temperature, temperature one and temperature two. And watch, we'll get the same answer. Let's go here. Um, where did I, where did I invoke those numbers? Again, I'm just going to get the, I'm going to prove I'm getting the same answer. Let me go here to a new one, a new layer, and I'm going to bring it here. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to come here and I'm going to go, let's say, I, I remember, I happen to remember the formula, plus I've got it on my paper, so let's go, let's go with the formula. The formula was the natural log of P2 over P1 is equal to uh, minus HV over R, 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1, right? And now I'm going to go back up. Oh, and we solved it. Let's let's solve for let's solve for h right away. Okay, this becomes minus r ln p two over p one is equal to right one over t two minus one over t one, and then I, then the delta h v is equal to minus r natural log p two p one over 1 over t2, 1 over t1. So I got this already, and I already solved this, okay? Now let's go back and get some numbers and put them in here. So we looked this up, it's 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin, right? And it's the natural log then of P2. And this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back here, and I chose these to be one and two, but for this solution, let's go with a different color. I'm going to choose this one to be 2 and this one to be 1. And we'll find we're going to get exactly the same answer. It doesn't matter which one we choose. So if that's temperature 2, oops, 55, 273 plus 55, it's going to be 8, 2, 328. All right, 55 degrees Celsius. That's going to be 328 Kelvins. All right, let's go back here now, get rid of that, come here. Uh, P2, oops, I forgot to look up P2. P2 is 0.281 atmospheres and P1 is 1.183.183 atmospheres. Let's go back to black. Right? Atmospheres cross off and we're going to get, watch this now, 1 over T2. T2 was two, uh, 328. 
kelvins and T1 was 319 I think I'm gonna verify that I don't trust my memory 328 and 319 that's right here's see that 328 and temperature was 319 okay and so this is going to give me uh, the same number right so I'm gonna write these numbers down 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin um, natural log 0.281 over 0.183 over 1 over 328 minus 1 over 319 and watch what I can do with my uh, Alex calculator you might be able to do with your with your regular scientific calculator but watch this go back here undo ah look at all that wow all the numbers are still in there so now I'm going to take this and this was 0 0.281 281 and P1 now was 183 right because I just chose different 1 and 2 and this was then 319 and this was 328 and we should get the same answer and, and of course uh, the universal gas constant was the same 8.314 okay let's hit enter now boom 41 point uh, five four four let's see four one four five three it's not exactly the same number four one four five three point oh two two five nine one so let's go back here to the whiteboard this gives me forty one four five two or three I don't even know if I wrote that down right point oh two two five nine one joules per mole right because kelvin's crossed off there was a kelvin's here those crossed off with that right and this is reported watch this to two sig figs as 41 kilojoules per mole okay so why wasn't it exactly the same i'm, I'm going to leave that for you i'm going to leave that for you why was it not exactly the same there's a completely a very legit answer it'll sit in your head, head nicely when you get it um, so obviously it doesn't matter which pressure and which temperature I choose to be 0.1 and 0.2. It does matter that I'm consistent, of course, and, uh, and you'll get the same answer uh, no matter what you choose. All right, so good luck. Go practice that, and let me know if you want to talk more about it.